Hello friends, this is Cool IT Help and uh, this is another video of JavaFX. So today in this video, we will see how we can use the tree view in JavaFX. So I am giving you the complete explanation of how we can create a root item and then we can add this sub item inside. After that, we can add the more child inside the sub item. So here's the example that I have uh, created for you. So uh, this will be the tree structure that we will create via the JavaFX code. The same thing we will implement in our example. So this is one, first one is root, root item and after that we have four items item 1, item 2 and item 3 as a child item of root item. After that I have taken an example like uh, item 2 has two more child the child 1 and child 2. In the similar way we will add two more child child 3 and child 4 with item 3 so we will do the same thing in our JavaFX program so let's get started now here's uh, NetBeans and uh, going to create a new JavaFX project click on next button now give the name the tree view example And select the appropriate JDK environment click on finish button now you can see here the project is uh, being created by this ID for us and now it is ready now it comes at the bottom oh, okay now fine uh, it is created and we have three files this first one is fxml this is GUI file for us and the second one is controller then every action is handled by this controller so now we will first open this GUI file so here it is open the scene builder so first I will manage uh, to create a tree view on this anchor pin so I am rearranging this button and label so now select it and maximize little bit that can accommodate tree view so go to the library and type tree view and just uh, select it drag it and drop on the anchor pen yes it is okay just maximize it okay now once we have done it uh, we will do some uh, changes in the FX ID so here is nothing to change in properties close it now go to the layout ok no change go to the code and this is the FX ID so we have to give an FX ID to use inside the controller so I am giving this my tree view so FX ID will be my tree view just save it ok now close this the rest of the work will be done inside the NetBeans ok now come back and this is uh, the trivia example dot java file this have a start method and here we have loaded the fxml now we'll move to the controller here you can see that now I am taking the reference of a tree view added fxml private tree view tree view give the FX ID of uh, the tree view that we have in uh, FXML. This is the FX ID, the same FX ID we have to give inside uh, FXML controller. Now we will use this uh, method, the action method for the button. On the button click, we will display our tree view structure. So I am using it as it is 
now come back into the fxml here is my button and it has fx id and it is connected with on action event with this method now we will do all activities inside it now I'm commenting out all tree view our tree view will appear when we press this button okay so first we will create these items and the root item okay now come back to the code so we'll use the new class okay now I am giving a object name is root item new tree item and uh, for inside the constructor we will pass the name of a root item so what we need this is root item Okay, now we will create the sub item inside the root item so we will create item 1 item 2 item 3 and item 4 to connect with the root item okay so we will create the instance of the same class tree item tree item 1 and give it a name item 1 okay in the similar way I will create three more item so rename it item 2 item 3 item 4 and item 5 here the past is string also I will rename it item 2 item 3 and item 4 with the corresponding tree item so we have successfully created this five items for the root items okay these items are created and for these two child item that is connected to item 2 for this purpose we do the similar thing <clears throat> now create the new object of tree item and uh, name it child1 is equal to new tree item and give the name child1 in the similar way I will create the rest of the child only I will rename the object name and the this is string value this is child2 and this is child3 and this is child4 okay now that's fine so once we have done uh, so we successfully created this child now we will connect this sub items with the root item first to do this you need to type tree 
the tree view object that we have uh, coming from the fxml to connect this sub item with the root items we have to type tree view dot set root and we need to pass the root item that is written at line number 36 once we have a root item then we will add rest of the item with the root item so here we need to type root item dot get children dot add all now we will pass these five sub item So this will be the part of sub item. This, these will be the part of root item. Now, okay, so it is clear. Now these five items are the part of root item. Now here see in the image, these one, two, three, four, four items. Root item has a four sub item. After that, item 2 has a 2 child item. Now we will connect these 2 child item with the item 2. How we will do that? Okay, need to type a small line of code. This is item 2 object. Now take this tree item 2 dot get children dot add all now pass this child 1 comma child 2 so now these two child connected with the tree item 2 now the it means that child 1 and child 2 becomes the child item of item 2 now see in the image you can see that we will do these child 3 and child 4 connection with the item 3 so take the object tree item 3 dot get children dot add all and pass these objects child 3 comma child 4 now our tree structure is completed as I have shown in this image first is root item after that we have four to five items then item two has two child and item three has two more childs so we are perfectly connected with child items so this one first one is the root item and root root item is added in a tree view okay so this is the line where first root item is added in a tree view after that we added the child in the root item so okay now the line number is 46 is for that that this is first root item and root item has its five child item now this child one and child two item is the sub item of item 2 in the similar way item 3 has two more child child 3 and child 4 yes here it is child 3 and child 4 becomes the sub item of tree item 3 now once we have done it we will run this program and we will see how it will display on a screen now go to the run and execute the program here's our stage now press click button i will see that the root item is appeared once you uh, click on the small arrow then it will expand the rest of the item here you can see that the item 2 has a two child this is child one and child two and the item three has a two child child three and child four as i have given in the image 
so we got the same thing the first is a root item then we have item 1 and item 2 has two child this is child 1 and child 2 and item 3 is connected with child 3 and child 4 same as same as displayed in the image and as item 4 is free and no child so this is the tree view example this is the best one it's a very nice tree view example and uh, you can use this tree view in your applications and enjoy it thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe my channel